Good morning, everybody. I'm so sorry I could not be in class today, um, but we need to go forward with the next step for your self-portrait paintings, which you're gonna be starting on today. Um, so please, if you can just pay attention to this video, um, I will be offering some instruction that is hopefully helpful and guided and really straightforward to the point. Um, and of course, you can replay this video as needed if you need to go over any of these techniques or demonstrations. So um, you should be arriving to class, right? And um, we're working on today the first step for the self-portrait painting. Um, but what we're going to be doing specifically today is a transfer technique to help you prepare your canvas for your self-portrait painting so that next class, which is Friday's class, we can actually start painting, okay? So today you should be arriving to class on your desk. You're finding very essential, a canvas that's wrapped in plastic, one ballpoint pen, one pencil, and two pieces of blue tape. The first thing you're gonna do right now, go ahead, remove that plastic from the canvas, throw away the plastic, do not leave any plastic on the desk, and put your name on the back of the canvas, okay? If you're finding at any point that this video is too fast, then just follow the steps afterwards. You're gonna have plenty of time to do this whole thing today in class, so I'm just gonna keep going with the video so it's not too long, okay? Throw away the plastic, put their name on the, on the back of the canvas, please. All right, next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take out your photo printout, okay? And um, if you haven't done so already, you are submitting a picture of your photo printout to Shobi. okay? There's going to be a folder called photo printout. I need to know that you brought it today. That folder is gonna lock, so please make sure if you haven't done that, you do it. Um, because I will not allow late comers. If you need to go print, you can print during this class, but you will not receive credit for bringing it today. So once your photo printout is taken out, you're going to cover the back of your printout vigorously with the pencil that has been given to you, okay? Please, the more condensely, the more um, you fill in the back of this photo, uh, the better that the result will be, okay? You're gonna spend about five minutes on that, all right? Again, you can replay this video on your own time. After you've covered the back of your printout with graphite, all right, as such, you can see that this is a good example of a finished, vigorously covered photo with graphite or pencil. You're going to use the two pieces of blue tape. You're gonna put one at the top and one at the bottom, and you're going to attach it to your canvas, okay? You might have to fold over the top and the bottom, all right, but your name should be on the back of the canvas, and you are attaching the photo straight onto your canvas and taping it to the back. So you have to fold over the top and the bottom and tape it over to the back. Secure it really well because you don't want this photo to move because then you're going to use the ballpoint pen to trace your photo, okay? Please capture every important detail you can only use ballpoint pen. The pen has been given to you at your desk. Do not use a ink fountain pen. You're gonna get every single detail. Please make sure your head is not floating. You need to have a neck if you have shoulders. And that is what your finished result should look like, okay? You spend a couple minutes tracing all these details. The more accurate you are with tracing things, the better your transfer will come out, okay? After you have finished tracing your photo, you are not throwing away your photo. Keep it in a safe place, okay? Keep your photo in a safe place. Put it in your sketchbook, put it back in your book bag in a folder. You will need your photo. That's what the end result should look like. Nice and detailed, beautiful shapes. Notice she has nothing colored in. Everything is a shape, especially the locks of her hair. And she has a neck. After you have finished tracing and you've put your photo away, you're gonna use your iPad. You're gonna take out that document that we created last class, the digital document on notability. You made a color scheme. You chose a color scheme. You colored in your eyes, your face, your hair, the background. 
you are now going to write those colors in on your canvas using pencil every single area okay now it's really important if you did a monochromatic color scheme like blue then you're gonna do b for blue lb for light blue llb for light light blue dark blue db dark dark blue ddb okay label every single part that's what you should be focusing on today. Please do not forget to put a color on the background. Some of you did not put a color on the background. So now is a good time for you to say, okay, what color is in my color scheme that I can put for the background, okay? Again, you cannot have a floating face. You cannot have a colorless background. And once you're done labeling all these colors, that should take you about 70 minutes, this whole process, okay? Not more than 70 minutes. You're going to turn in, G Block is going to turn in your canvases in a pile by the drying rack by the window, okay? So you are putting your canvases in a pile in the drying rack by, on the drying rack by the window after you have submitted a picture of your completed canvas to show me today, okay? So that is how you will get credit for this assignment is by submitting a picture of your finished canvas, okay? So you take a nice little picture of your finished labeled canvas where you've transferred your face and written the colors, okay? This is gonna be available as a YouTube link for you and you will be able to rewatch this video as many times as you need, all right? Please watch it follow directions. All right. And, um, I will see you on Friday. We'll start painting on Friday. Thank you so much and have a great class.